Well, here I am in my truck. I've got a 20 foot car hauler behind me. And I'm headed to go pick up the next big project. This will be the one that replaces the CRX. I've had my CRX for 13 years. Um, at one time it was my only car. Ripped it down to nothing, rebuilt it into what it is now. I had a vision for that car and built it pretty much exactly to what my vision was. As the way the car sits now, for the most part, it's exactly the way that it was when I finished it um, six years ago. There are some other things I'd like to do to it, uh, mainly just boost it or you know go with a K-series motor. But other than that, you know, cosmetically, I've changed the wheels, but the car is pretty much what I always wanted it to be. Um, and those of you that have built a car from the ground up like that uh, will understand what it's like. Sometimes you build the exact car you wanted all this time, and uh, then it is what it is. You kind of have an itch to do something else, and that's where I'm at. Back when I did the video uh, on almost trading it for the S2000, uh, that was a really hard decision to make, but once I made the decision that I was willing to let the car go, it planted something in my mind that I was finally to the point where I was ready to let that car go for whatever the next chapter is. I started thinking if I'm willing to let the car go for that, uh, what else am I willing to let it go for? And ever since I've built that car, I've always known if I ever get rid of it and do another rebuild or start another project, I've always known what it would be. I may not have known the specific model or the exact year or era, but I had a good idea of what, what the next project would be. I have had for years. And that next vehicle is a 50s to 60s model short bed truck um, lowered two-wheel drive uh, probably on bags I'd like to put a diesel swap in one like a 4BT Cummins or an Isuzu four-cylinder 4B1T or just have a really good sounding V8 um, I don't know if I want to go well we'll get in the plans we'll get in the project plans later but I've always known it was going to be a short bed, lowered, um, 50s to 60s era truck. I've been shopping for quite a while to try to locate the truck. I'm not necessarily a GM versus a Ford guy. I like what I like, but I've always really liked uh, the GMs mainly. And here lately I've been looking at a lot of stuff on bags. I kind of like the little bit bigger wheels nothing too extreme and on bags super low um, you know the 70s and 80s and early 90s square body trucks are too new for me I want something older and more classic um, I really like the 50s but those things they're either complete rusted hunks of junk or they're just in pieces and people still want you know like eight grand for them I recently just sold my dirt bike, my KTM 300, to free up a little cash uh, because I found a truck that I liked. It. I actually really like the uh, like 62, 63 to the 67 Ford F100s. I think they've got a really classic body style. I like the swoopy lines on the side of them. And I found one. I had it bought. I've been talking to the guy since last week. He took it down off Marketplace. Um, I said, I just need to figure out what day to come get it. I said I will come either Monday or Wednesday. We didn't really talk over the weekend. Uh, Sunday, yesterday, I kind of told him, hey, uh, Monday is my best day. Is that going to work if I come get it tomorrow? What time works for you? He had said, well, let me check with my work schedule and I'll get with, back with you. Um, he'd been replying yesterday and over the course of the day, I'm like, hey, I need to know. I got to go borrow a trailer. I need to have some sort of a plan because I was driving I was driving three and a half hours to get this truck one way so we're talking a seven hour round trip just driving so I gotta have some sort of plan well about three o'clock yesterday the guy totally ghosts me 
Never heard another word. Never heard back from the guy. So I started looking around. Everything I find, you know, these 60s model Chevy trucks, the short beds, um, stuff that's rusted out so bad you can see the ground through the floorboard, the rockers are gone, sometimes no engine or transmission. People are wanting 4500 to five grand for those trucks all day, which is it's too much. You know, occasionally you'll find one that's got a cool patina, which I would just roll with. I'd put, I'd focus on the chassis, put suspension under it, and roll with the patina look. But there's guys with an old, original paint, you know, pretty rough patina truck that runs and drives. People are wanting $7,500 to $11,000 for those trucks. It's insane. Um... So anyway, I had lost confidence in this guy with the F100. Um, I've just been looking at everything that I could find, willing to drive up to, you know, four or five hours away. And out of the blue, you know, I'm getting discouraged. Uh, my buddy AJ sends me a link to this 66. Um, I really wanted an original truck with some cool patina. At this point, I don't know what I'm going to find. So... AJ sends me this link. It's a 66. The guy has already done inner and outer rockers. He's done floor pans. Um, you could tell the guy was going to do a full restoration. The whole side of the truck is pretty straight. It doesn't have any of the front end parts on it. Uh, but he said everything's the truck is complete. Everything's there. Everything comes with it. Um, everything's been body worked. It's either bare metal with a little bondo, little primer here and there. Some parts are painted. Um, to be honest, I don't know exactly uh, at what stage the entire truck is in, but it's got a Chevy 350 V8. It's got a nice Edelbrock carburetor on top. It's got a 350 transmission, and the truck does run. Um, currently, the drive shaft is disconnected because um, he had to get that custom fabricated to the right length, but it comes with a couple drive shafts. Uh, we'll have to winch it onto the trailer. Um, since that's not hooked up, but it's just a really, really straight short bed truck. I think it comes with some extra parts. I think it comes with a extra set of like white spoke wheels. He said all the metal work has already been done. Uh, the fenders, the whole front of the truck, the fenders, the hood, um, the grill and stuff are all pretty straight. Uh, he just hasn't started working on those yet. And they're all off the truck. I think the driver's door might be off of it already lowered I'm not exactly sure if it's on drop spindles with a flip kit in the rear or what what's going on there but I mean this all happened AJ sent me the ad about 1 30 in the afternoon I start asking the guy questions um, by the time I get the trailer go grab some straps and all that it's you know 3 30 before I can even get on the road it's 4 30 now it's about three and a half hours away one direction so it's quite the drive and none of my buddies could go with me i'm doing this solo um, it's gonna be a fun trip i hope everything goes well my old 2004 gmc sierra i hope she does good this trailer i've got behind me is super heavy it's a 18 foot car hauler with a two foot dovetail overall 20 foot and it's incredibly heavy so hopefully this old girl does good she's a great truck um, Hopefully we get it loaded okay, get all the parts. I've got one truck, one empty truck bed going down. I'll have two empty truck beds coming back. So anyway, that's the story. I was hoping to have a buddy come with me to help me film it. Um, probably not gonna do a ton of filming there. If the guy's okay with it, I might set the camera up and just uh, film us loading the truck and some things like that. But I wanna respect his privacy. Um, yeah. I mean, that's it. Uh, the CRX is still at home. It's not going anywhere yet. I've put out some feelers to some people I thought may be interested. Um, and there's a couple loose ends on the car, some minor things that don't really hurt anything um, that I'd like to tie up for one, so I can ask more money for it for two, so it's um, ready and it's a good solid car for the next owner. Um, so if you watch my videos, if you subscribe to the channel, um, and you know the car or if you don't go back and look at some of my old videos um, I still am going to finish the feature video on it. I need to get a little more 
uh, video for that. Uh, but if you're interested in the car, I'm going to finish that feature video before I actually put it up for sale. That's the plan anyway, unless I get a crazy offer before that. Um, just so I can kind of show off and showcase the car and have one video to send people to to tell them all about it. Uh, but if you have interest in the car, um, you know, I'm not desperate. I'm not looking to give the car away. Uh, but I hope to make someone a, a pretty fair deal on what is a, a pretty rare car. It's going to be pitch black in the next hour, so I'm not going to film much on the way there, but hopefully this goes well. This seems like a super uh, straight up guy, and the people I've dealt with so far have just been completely ridiculous. So hopefully this guy um, is as straight as he, as he seems to be, and pray that I have a, a safe trip down here and a safe trip home. It'll be a late night. Uh, uh, hopefully it's worth it. Here we go. Here's the truck. Parts of it are a little rougher than I expected and parts of it are better. So I think it's a good solid starter. I'm tired. I don't feel like talking much about the truck tonight. It's 10.30 at night and I've still got uh, probably almost four hours left through some huge hills trying to take it easy and be safe. So more on this later, but um, there's the truck so far so good this half ton's gonna earn her keep tonight I made it home with the truck this old half ton pulled it through all the Arkansas and southern Missouri giant hills really well this is it 1966 Chevy C10 short wide bed it's definitely a project but the truck has a lot of potential It's got a 350 engine out of a 74 truck. It runs good. It's got a 350 trans out of that same truck, I believe. It's got a brand new battery. Um, heater core unit is all brand new. All the inner fender wells have been refinished. It's got the Edelbrock high-rise carb. Uh, the engine has been gone through as far as most of the gaskets except for the head gasket was not done uh, With power steering added I believe also from that 74 truck I've got all the parts the hood all the other body parts in the back End up in the cab of course one of the people that wouldn't get back to me to give me a status on a title that was right here locally um, finally answered my question after waiting all weekend and a day when I was about 30 minutes out from picking this up about three hours on the road and of course the guy that had the Ford F100 super clean nice solid complete truck um, that I was also supposed to pick up yesterday that completely ghosted me on messenger um, 
messaged me back first thing this morning. You know what? Everything happens for a reason. Um, that Ford F100 was a super clean truck. Ironically, I had to drive three and a half hours to it also. And where I picked up this truck from a totally different guy ended up being within about 20 miles of the guy with the F100. Very strange. But, uh, you know, from the beginning, I really wanted a Chevy or a GMC short wide bed. Um, the Ford was super nice. I would have been really happy with it. It was a nice solid original truck, but these Chevys are harder to find and frankly, they're worth more when you go to resell one. It's got a lowering kit already on it. Um, it's already got new ball joints, shorter drop springs, and these shorter shocks for the lowering kit. The rear has a flip kit for these trailing arms, and then lowering struts added to that. Um, the dash has been completely repainted. Of course, I may come in and repaint it again, a different color. The ceiling, all that has been repainted. The whole top of the truck has been sealed. For some reason, the truck is not cranking from the key. I've got to jump the starter manually. The truck has a brand new windshield with a brand new seal. The truck came with an entire set of extra glass. The floor pans have been completely replaced. The rockers have been completely replaced. Um, they still need finished up here where they were cut in. Um, the cab corners are good. He just did a little spot repair there. The bed is not currently bolted down. It's a little overwhelming starting from here, but I'm excited. The truck's got a lot of potential. The truck wasn't cheap, but uh, compared to the crazy prices people are asking around here um, is a pretty decent fair deal I guess you could say now the CRX is gonna have to sell um, before I can put uh, much money into this I'm really really torn and sad to see that go but really excited to start the new chapter the good thing is this truck still has a lot of sorting and a lot of work and things I can do to make progress on the on the project without spending money or without spending much money anyway so that's the new project if you have serious interest in the CRX uh, feel free to hit me up I'll drop my personal email down below here we go